very good morning to all participants first of all i thank god for his blessings in all ways i extend my thanks to our college management secretary principal for their complete support to organize this one day national level webinar on enlist e resources now i request our principal dr immanuel to deliver the presidential address please sir hello friends i am profoundly happy that the library science department of reverend jacob memorial christian college is conducting a webinar on enlist e resources i believe the webinar will also serve as an introduction to colleges that have not heard of reverend jacob memorial christian college rgmcc is the first self financing college started in the year 1997 in the indigo district of tamil nadu moreover this is the first private college to be accredited by nac in the year 2007 Eleanor Howard Library has a rich tradition and history. This is the first library under the affiliated college of colleges of Madurai Kamaraj University to start library science courses. The library department now runs CLIC and BLIC. Library studies has undergone huge metamorphosis in the recent times both within the superstructure of library studies and in supplying methodological research assistance to all other domains of study the library acts as a storehouse of historical wisdom in fact the accumulated wisdom of the human race the administration of a library has also changed enough in recent times it is more digital highly sophisticated and offers exhaustive electronic resources just in a second time i would like to thank dr k ramaswamy librarian of mvm government college for women dindikal who has accepted to be the keynote speaker of this webinar dr ramaswamy has been a keynote speaker for several li library programs across the state i would also like to appreciate the good work employed by the librarian of r james ez dr ramesh babu i would like to welcome participants across the country i understand that several hundreds have registered for this program i guarantee that this event will enormously enrich your academic experience very best for the program thank you thank you principal dr immanuel sir for your efficient presidential address let me introduce the resource person dr k ramasamy college librarian MB Muthaya Government Arts College for Women Dindigal he has 20 years of professional experience he has published 60 articles in national and international peer reviewed journals he published 80 papers in national and international level conferences he has contributed 56 chapters in edited books he has published three books in library and information science he has delivered 110 invited talks and 10 online talks he has completed a minor research projects of tansi for rupees 1 lakh now i request the resource person to deliver the session a good morning friends it gives me immense pleasure to address you all on this beautiful occasion and in this session i would like to talk to you i would like to share with you few bits of information about enlist e resources the boom for the academy of higher education at the outset i take this opportunity to welcome you all to this online session and also i take this opportunity to thank the organizers for having given me this wonderful opportunity of meeting you all and dear friends now we are all living in the digital world everywhere wherever you go either in the working field or in the learning field or in the teaching field or in commerce in marketing in commercial activities even a personal life we need digital devices we have all the digital devices around us without a smartphone without a tv without a laptop it has become very difficult for us to live in this world 
and we want all the information on a mouse click. We don't want to wait for a long time to get the required information, but we want everything on a click. We are surrounded by the so-called Google era academic community where every one of us is trying to have our own physical presence and virtual presence in all the possible online modes. But what are the information requirements of academic community these days? Academic community, I mean the assistant professors, associate professors, the professors, faculty members, and research scholars, those who are working in higher education sector. How the, tr the transition is being taking place throughout the period. See, long back we had uh, printed books. Even now we have printed books. But apart from printed books, nowadays we talk a lot of things about electronic books, e-books, e-journals, e-contents, e-patterns, e-videos. So many, many, many such kind of things have penetrated into our learning and academic area. Even the devices, what we possess to access, retrieve and use the information also has been varying over a period of time. It has been moved from desktop to PC, PC to laptop, laptop to smartphones and whatnot. And why do we need information? See, academic community, we need information mainly for our classroom preparation, for our teaching purposes. Whenever you are going to handle a class, before planning a lesson, you need to refer to a lot of materials. So for a classroom preparation, or maybe you are taking part in a conference, you need to present a paper. So you need to refer to a lot of materials to get information required for preparing your, uh, your conference paper. Or you are writing a journal article, or you're writing a book, you're writing a book chapter. So you need uh, some information from many resources. Or you have a PhD student or MPhil student or PG student, those who are doing some kind of projects or assignments. So you need to guide them. You need to update yourself so that you will be able to guide them. So obviously you need to have access to wide variety of information. And of course, even yourself may be doing some kind of projects, maybe minor project, major project, or some kind of research collaboration with the other institutions. So you need to conduct your own research work. You need a lot of information the resources that contain valid and authentic information fine the question comes here as a researchers see basically academicians we bother about the teaching learning and the research these three are the three pillars of all our activities so as far as the research is concerned we need lot of original papers lot of original research papers authenticated papers and why do we need all these resources as far as research is concerned? So very simple, my dear friends. If you want to start your research work, the first and foremost thing what you need to do is to identify the research work. So first of all, you should identify on what topic you are going to do your research. So even to identify your research problem, the first and foremost thing what you should do is doing a comprehensive review of literature. See what are the previous researchers had done already. What were their objectives? What are their findings? What they tried to achieve? What were their findings? What were their suggestions? So by going through the methodologies adopted, the tools used, the findings given by the previous researchers, you will be able to come to an understanding that, oh, this is an area where nothing much is done. Or this is an area where I can do something on my research work. So that kind of identification of the research gap Identification of the research problem is possible only when you have a, a kind of a glance of various reviews of literature. If you have to go for review of literature, you should depend on various information resources. Fine. Even when you're writing your journal article or a book or a thesis, so you need to tell something about the background information. Introductory part where you may have to give the definitions, meaning, the origin of theory, the development of theory, how a particular concept was born and nurtured and developed over a period of time. So if you want to give come some kind of background information, then obviously you need a lot of resources to be consulted. And very, very importantly, as a researcher, we are, maybe after conducting your research, you get a long list of findings. So you cannot simply present your findings. 
you need to contextualize your findings in tune with the findings of the world. So you should prove, you should disagree or agree with others' findings. To what extent your findings are in line with others' findings and to what extent your findings are against the findings of others. So that kind of integration of your findings with that of the other researchers is very, very important in any research. So for all these areas, as far as the research is concerned, and for your classroom preparation and to assist your uh, students and scholars, you need to have access to a lot of resources. Fine. And previously, even now, we have a lot of printed resources, either in our house, at our friend's house, in public libraries, or in our college libraries. We have a lot of printed resources. We have print books, print newspapers, print journals, and all kinds of print-based information carriers. But of late, due to the advent of information and communication technology, and due to the availability of lot number of smartphones at cheaper rates and the availability of internet connection. These are all have made a possible environment where there is a growth of another media called electronic resources. So dear friends, electronic resources are those resources which are available in digital form. So they are in digital form. They're not in a printed physical form. They are in the digital form. And if you want to access these resources, you should have any electronic device, maybe a smartphone or a laptop or a PC, such kind of devices you require in order to access these resources. Then you can say they're all e-resources. So e-resources can be e-books, e-journals, e-patterns, e-conference proceedings, e-standards, so what not. And when you talk about e-resources, I can broadly classify the e-resources into two groups. One kind of resources are available in your hand. They are with you. They are digital resources. They are electronic resources, but they are available with you. Maybe in your phone, maybe in your laptop, in your hot disk, or your flat disk, or in your pen drive, or in a CD-ROM. You have with you. They are offline electronic resources. On the other hand, we have online electronic resources where you need to have a device you need to have an internet connection, then you will be able to access all these different kinds of electronic resources which are available on WWW. So those resources are termed as online electronic resources. So we have offline electronic resources and online electronic resources. During the whole of my presentation, I will be concentrating and limiting my presentation only to the online electronic resources. Fine. Okay, so we need to use online resources these days. Where to go for that? So one is free and open access resources. We get a lot of free resources, a lot of open access resources, which are made available in many websites. You just have an internet connection, go to Google, type the things, and you get a lot of free resources. Fine. This is one thing. And secondly, there are some resources which are commercially available, which are subscription resources. So unless otherwise you pay money, you may not be able to access or unless otherwise your institution is paying the money as a member of your institution, you may not be able to access those resources. So they are commercial resources, paid resources, subscribed resources. Unless you pay money, you will not be get the full text of those things. Then comes open educational resources. These days, lot of resources are exclusively prepared to assist the people in their teaching, learning, and research activities. See, if you are able to get open educational resources, you can use them as such, or you can make some modifications in that. You can add something, you can delete something, you can modify something, then you can use it. Once you used it, either the original one or the modified one can be shared with your friends, can be reused, can be repurposed, can be redistributed, so all these things are possible with open educational resources. Fine. But, but in today's session, I would like to confine my presentation only to the commercial paid or subscribed e-resources. Fine. But the problem with the commercial and paid e-resource is that it is very costly. See, even if you want to get one single journal, maybe in physics, maybe in chemistry, maybe in biotechnology, maybe in computer science, 
you may have to pay thousands and thousands of money just for one year it's a very costly subscription rates especially if they are international journals if they are indexed in web of science or scopus if they are having a very good high impact factor then obviously you have to pay a lot of money it is very costly though so maybe maybe some good institutions are there they are very rich institutions even they can purchase only limited number of copies limited number of journals even they may not be able to purchase a good number of copies so it's very very difficult commercial and paid sources are very costly it is very difficult for all the institutions to purchase or to subscribe for all the journals and all the resources available then what is the solution for this fine so here is solution the name of the solution is consortia okay what is consortia a group of libraries they come together they talk to the publishers and they say that so we 20 libraries are there you provide same content to all the 20 libraries but you have to reduce the price at the bargain rate we want the information for all the member institutions so that kind of arrangement is called consortia so when libraries come together join together they form a consortia then you will be able to get more resources a single library i can purchase two journals or 10 journals but when i form a consortia i will be able to purchase thousands of journals so more resources and i will get all the costly resources at a discounted price which otherwise will not be possible and single platform accessibility so all the publishers they provide a single platform in a single platform i will be able to access all the resources i will not go and log on to each and every one's publisher's website fine then rates are affordable and 24 to 7 to 365 days you can access with the minimum infrastructure you just need to have one laptop with an internet connection that is more than sufficient you can access all the resources which are available for your consortium so that is why we started forming running lot of consortium in india for example in 1982 we had the forsa consortium in for astronomical researchers in 2001 we had dae consortium department of atomic energy then we had iim indian institute of management libraries so all the iim libraries they formed the consortium for them in 2001 and then we have csir uh, e journal consortium so all the laboratories of uh, council of scientific and industrial research so they formed the consortium in 2002 and in the indest aic consortium the consortium which is exclusively meant for technical institutions maybe engineering colleges polytechnic colleges or technical universities it's exclusively meant for them. then helinet which was started in 2003 this which is a exclusive design for health libraries medical libraries nursing libraries pharmacology libraries fine then comes ugc infonet digital library consortium which was formed in 2004 uh, it is exclusive meant for uh, indian uh, universities all the state universities can make use of this particular consortium see all these consortium are indian consortium so they are established by indian libraries for mutual benefits but today i will let's talk about one particular consortium called e shodh sindhu so e shodh sindhu is a consortium which was formed in 2016 as an amalgamation of three already existing consortium fine so we had a three consortium by name ugc infonet digital library consortium nlist and indest aict consortium see so all these three consortium are combined together and they brought under a single umbrella called e shodh sindhu in e shodh sindhu now we got many components one component is nlist so nlist is a component of e shodh sind consortium which is meant for arts and science colleges in fact nlist stands for national library and information services infrastructure for scholarly content in fact this particular scheme was introduced by minister hrd under national mission on education ict through ict in 2010 so from 2010 to 13 it was being run by minister hrd and the services were extended the e resources were extended to all the colleges which were covered under section 12b of university grants commission act and since 2014 the nlis program is being funded by ugc and uh, it is being rendering services to all the colleges which are covered under 12b of ugc act fine and uh, where does it work 
enlist operates this enlist service being offered at in flip net center gandhinagar gujarat there they have all the servers through those servers the member libraries are provided with lot of e resources fine uh, how can i how can you and i access these electronic resources see if a college wants to get access to endless services they have to apply through proper channel either through physical medium or through online application they should first start with then they will get the invoice from the inflip net center you have to make the payments see payment in the sense if your college is a government college government aided college which is placed under 12b or 2f status you just need to pay 5900 rupees per year okay only only 5900 per year if your college is a non aided college then you have to pay around 35000 rupees fine once payment is made inflipnet center will send a username and password to the college administrator preferably a librarian will be the college administrator and this college administrator will collect the names of all the students all the faculty members who are to be enrolled as members in enlist and he will or she will send the list to inflipnet center from the inflipnet center they will send the username and password to all the students all the faculty members individually okay college administrator may not be knowing about it they will be sending it directly to the members so members they have to open their mail id they have to activate their account and then they can access it anywhere so whether you are in your house you are in the outing you are in the travel you are in the library or you are in the barber shop wherever you are with the username and password you will be able to access all the end list e resources fine then a question comes here so at a time how many students how many faculty members can access end list in our college 3000 students are there how many can access this no absolutely no problem any number of students any number of faculty members can simultaneously access end list resources there is no bar on the number of students simultaneously accessing the resources but only one condition is there it's not a condition see obviously when many people try to log in the network will be congested and there will be a traffic and you are accessing or downloading speed may become bit slow that's it okay then what kind of colleges or what kind of subjects are covered see if you want to get some kind of e resources on pure sciences applied sciences social sciences humanities including uh, linguistics and languages you may come to enlist but if you want to get some information on engineering agriculture pharmacology management medicine i'm sorry those subjects are not covered under enlist service fine okay a uh, student sometimes they used to ask a question sir shall i share my login id and password with my friends those are in other colleges those are in my street something like that no it is strictly prohibited you are not supposed to share your login id and password with your friends or with anybody else because whoever is making use of that username and password their ip address will be tracked and the publishers will keep a track of who and all are using your username and password so please never ever show never ever please don't share your login id and password to friends fine and as i told you how these uh, accessing takes place as i told you many publishers are there they have got an agreement into endless service and endless is giving all the opportunities to us so as a member i will type username and password i will go and knock the doors of inflipnet how through the servers which are deployed at gandhinagar gujarat so these servers which are located in gujarat gandhinagar they will check whether your username and password are correct if it is correct then they authenticate you and they will permit you to go and get the materials from any publishers directly see after getting authorization you are free to go to any publisher any site any publisher website you can go you can search you can download things from the respective publisher site is it fine in flipnet center they don't save they don't store anything in their servers they only act as a proxy server they will channelize you to many different publishers fine then which kind of colleges are getting benefited see all the colleges which are covered under 12b or 2f status except except agriculture colleges engineering colleges management colleges medical colleges pharmacy colleges 
dentist colleges nursing colleges except these colleges all other colleges can ask for enlist service fine you can ask a question sir by joining enlist what are you going to get it's so very simple see you will be able to access full text articles of more than 6000 journals 6000 journals full text journals for many years if you take one journal maybe for the last 20 years last 30 years how many papers were published in a particular journal you will be able to access all the issues all the volumes and all the papers apart from that you can access 31 lakhs ebooks which are available in genlist plus not one not two 31 lakhs plus ebooks you can access fine and what are the e journals i told you uh, these are the publishers journal publishers those who are extending their full text articles via endless service okay starting from american institute of physics they give 18 titles indian journals 180 plus titles j store 2500 journals royal society of chemistry 29 titles cambridge university around 224 journals so these are the people and you can see uh, hw wilson is giving a maximum of 3000 plus journals and what about ebooks so all these 12 publishers they provide ebooks and uh, we have 1800 books from cambridge books online and we have 2300 books from springer we have 1000 books from sage publications and to the maximum of 30 lakhs books are being provided by world ebooks library so from all these publishers we get around 31 lakhs ebooks for our accessing enlist fine apart from these full text databases even we can access one bibliographical database a yeah, bibliographical database is a database that gives you only bibliographical details like what is the title who is the author where are they working what is the abstract what are the keywords so only these many things you will be able to see in a bibliographical database so they are not full text they are bibliographical enlist gives access to one bibliographical database called max sci net where you can access the american mathematical society all the research content in terms of journal articles or conference proceedings or chapters and books starting from 1944 till date you can access fine then before we uh, get the practical aspects let me tell you what things are permitted and what things are not permitted while you are using enlist so please understand when you are making use of enlist you are permitted to do all these things what are the things see you are doing a search you get the results this search results can be viewed downloaded copied printed and saved absolutely no problem you are going through all the journals you got a very very important journal article very very important journal article you want to view the journal article you want to download it you want to copy it you want to print it you want to save it so that individual article can be saved and printed no problem and when you are using all these endless resources for your educational purposes your research purpose your teaching purpose your clinical purpose for your self learning purpose they are all permitted fine so for example you two are working in institution you got a very good article you want to send this article to another authorized user of your own institution you can send it no problem fine the part from that see you have seen one beautiful article and you want to give a link to this article in your uh, home page in your facebook in your twitter account you want to give a link to a, a commercial uh, article so that kind of linking is possible you are not supposed to deposit the original article but links can be given so these are things which are permitted in the usage of enlist e resources then what is not permitted okay see some people are there very intelligent people they will follow all the robotic mechanism to download the kind of bulk download a kind of automatic download they will go and download all the articles of all the issues and all the volumes of one particular journal so that kinds of bulk downloading or automatic downloading is not permitted and so you cannot go and download one full journal as such so that kind of uh, even a non systematic uh, downloading of large portions of e resources not permitted and you are not supposed to take the content from enlist and use it for commercial purposes even that is not permitted and uh, see for example you have got a friend who is in another college 
and he is not an authorized user you are not supposed to download lot of things from your id and you are not supposed to send it to all the uh, other friends those who are not the authorized users but that is not permitted and as i told you you cannot uh, download a particular article and post the full text article in your uh, blog or a facebook account or a twitter account or in your college website that is not permitted so these are the do's and don'ts as far as endless service is concerned then comes let us see how uh, practically we can get into uh, this endless service okay and you just come to google and type uh, endless and you will reach this particular site endless.inflipnet.ac.in and this is a home screen of uh, endless so you can see uh, uh, you can read more about uh, endless and the middle panel tells you who are eligible to become members of endless the right most panel tells you the place for members login so those who are the members of endless you can log in here then comes we just come down the home page it is a place for uh, administrator your college administrator he or she can log in and this is statistics they tell you how many active colleges how many active users and how many users joined in 2020 in the month of june the right most side you can see the top 10 college user, users so in india out of these the 3400 college which are registered under endless program which top 10 colleges are using endless resources to the maximum extent see you can see a scroll and if you come to the bottom most you can see useful links they tell you how to register yourself how to join yourself what are the frequently asked questions college status other links contact information so these things are available in the bottom most part of the home page screen fine and if you go to the home page the top right corner you can see two uh, menus two categories of menus these are the first list and the second list in the first list you have college admin login license and fair use faqs and downloads in the second line of menus you have home about members register e resources and search so let me tell you something about the second line menu first four items we will discuss home page i told you what are the various uh, items you can see in the home page then about uh, click on about item about menu uh, item you can see about a historical background of nlis what is the purpose what is the background of nlis you will see and click on members this got four options how to join college status state wise list and search college four options are there you click on how to join they will give you instructions how a particular college can apply for enlist program so all the instructions are given and second you can look for uh, status of member college as i told you we have 3462 colleges which are the members of enlist as on now you can see here you can search for members for example i just uh, searched for mv mutaya my college name you can see here mv mutaya government arts college freeman mother teresa women's university so this is uh, there so no problem you can search for a particular college and here they provide you state wise list of colleges okay for example in tamil nadu 292 colleges are registered under enlist program i just click tamil nadu so all the 292 colleges will be listed in the alphabetical order for example i just typed for annamal college the college particular will come fine otherwise you can search for a member college separately also click the fourth option type the name of the college maybe by annamal college so you will get the particulars annamal college of education fine so these are the four items available under the menu members fine next go to register if you click on register the online application will appear where you have to fill all the particulars about your college you have to upload your uh, 12b certificate and what are the courses you offer ug courses pg courses then you have to register okay fine and uh, so so far i talked to you about these uh, four items home about members and uh, register fine and then let's talk about uh, the other one college admin login and other things so when you click on college admin login you can get instructions which are meant for college administrator the college admin login area so those things will be visible when you click college admin login then comes the next button license and fair use so whatever i have been talking to you all these time about uh, what is permitted what is not permitted what is copyrighted materials how you have to handle the users what about the fair use of materials so these informations are available under 
licenses and fair use then comes the next item faq you click on faq the most frequently asked questions about enlist what is enlist how many can access which colleges can access so such kind of frequently asked questions are given over with answers the last one college admin license and fair use faq use and the last one is downloads you click on downloads here you can download what can i download i can download enlist browser i can download authorization letter for enlist college administrator excel template for bulk user import and enlist college administrator manual so i can download all these things apart from this the left side they have given list of e journals see american institute of physics 18 journals annual review 33 journals hastie wilson 2800 j store 3000 something something like that you can have a kind of a uh, um, list of journals available and this is a latest list okay see previously i told you that hastie wilson is contributing maximum number of journal articles but this is a latest screenshot it shows that j store is giving you the maximum number of journals 3165 journals so if you want to know what journals are provided by one particular publisher you click for example i click here american institute of physics download so you can see the entire list is downloaded as a tsv file tab separated value file you can open in excel and you can check name of the journal isbn number and uh, its coverage who is publishing which subject so these particulars are available so this way you can go and download the list of journals available in all the 10 publishers fine good then two items are left now the second row one is e resources and the other is search these two things are uh, to be discussed let us discuss about e resources when you click on e resources they give you the list of subscribed e journals and e books okay they provide you american institute of physics they give a link okay the same way all the journal providers the addresses okay and all the book publishers and their link addresses if you click here you will be directly taken to their particular publishers website fine let us see an example first how to search for contents of a journal in a vendor sites okay i'm going to log into enlist after logging in how can i can go and search for a particular journal being published by a particular uh, journal publisher okay what to do come to the home page the home page second row click on e resources all the g journals and e books will be listed let's try with the uh, american institute of physics the first one i click on the um, url and it will be redirecting you and you will be asked to give your username and password so you can go on the whatever i told you now you can do all these things but when you want to get into publishers website to search access and download something then they will ask you to provide your username and password the username and password what you received from in flipnet center okay what enlist has given you that username and password and give on login and uh, now you are in uh, aip website american institute of physics website what you can do is that see aip is publishing lot of journals around the uh, 18 journals are there for example i am interested in one particular journal any one journal for example i click that particular journal so what is the journal journal of mathematical physics so i want to search the articles on this particular journal okay i can browse starting from the first issue till the latest issue volume number 61 issue 5 may 2020 i can go and search each and every article okay and under each article you could see few options for example show abstract pdf add to favorites share export citation so these are the options available fine let us see these options one by one if you click on show abstract you can read the abstract so after reading abstract you can come to your conclusion whether i need this particular article or i don't need this article if you need you can download or you just skip it and go to next article fine and second option if you click on this pdf this download arrow button the article is downloaded you can go on the read any time you can download no problem and the third one is share button for example you want to share information about this particular article with your friends information in the sense name of the article author abstract you can share you can send a email via facebook via linkedin via twitter you can share this information 
even you can recommend if you want you can recommend this particular article to your friends to a librarian you can recommend this is a form recommend to your friend recommend to your librarian you can recommend it fine then comes the export citation data last uh, before one item so if you want to find out how i can write the reference for this particular journal article just click this citation for this article in what format you want you choose your format click on export and your citation your reference will be exported for example in this particular article the author has included 30 references at the end of the paper suppose if you want to get the references all those references then you can click this both references cited in this article then if that article has got 40 references all the 40 references will be exported okay fine if you want to both you click this one both article citation and the reference list both will be exported so this export option is very good option you can use then the last one is favorites add to favorites so what you can do is that come to this aip go around to many uh, journals pick up 10 to 15 journal articles you feel they are more important to you you can add all the 15 articles as your favorite articles but to do so it will ask you to log in if you click on add favorites they will ask you to log in so click on this option sign in or register you have to register yourself please remember this username and password is something different you can make use of any username and password your gmail id anything and use okay it has got no connection with the username and password what end list has given you fine so your own username and password you give and uh, you uh, just send it to them uh, it will be registered you go to your mail activate it and you get an account when you get your account, whenever you come to AAP website, you can see here, Welcome Ramasamy. It means that you are you are registered member of this particular uh, journal publisher. Fine. What can you do? You can update your personal details. You can uh, create alerts. What kind of alerts? For example, AAP is having around 18 journals. They have a lot of newsletters. See, if you go and select the journals, Whenever any new article is published, whenever a new issue is published in all those journals, immediately you will get an alert into your mailbox. So dear friend, so and so volume, so and so issue on so and so journal is published. You can go and check it. So that kind of alert you get. So you can click journal alert. You can go for newspaper alert. So all these newsletters are there from AAP. All the recent updates, new books, new research areas, those things will be appearing in these newsletters. Even you can create alert for various newsletters, then topical alerts. So apart from journals, you can choose any topic, maybe one topic, two topics, three topics. Sir, I want to get alerts on these many topics. For example, if you are interested in mathematical physics and particle physics, you can choose these particular two items and say yes. So what happens? Hereafter, any article is published by American Institute of Physics, which are related to these two topics immediately you will get an alert message fine so this kind of alert is very very useful for researchers please try then comes the favorites you can come and add all the uh, favorite items into this particular place which can be seen anytime fine then for example you try for something so you type something like a nuclear physics and you got a lot of items how many items are there around three lakhs items are there on nuclear physics okay i don't know what all these things so what i can do is that I can filter my result. So I don't want these three lakhs. The left side, please see the filters. I want only research articles. I want only letters. I want only abstracts. I want only the publications between 2010 and 2020. Or I want the articles related only to spectroscopy, only to nuclear physics exclusively. Or I want the articles on nuclear physics written by only these authors. Or I want the articles on nuclear physics which are published by this particular journal. So that way, using all these filters, you can refine your search, okay? Once you refine your search, for example, you got around the 20, 30, 40, 100 items. Now you can save this search. Whatever search you carried out now, this search can be saved. How to save it? Right, so you can save search option. Click on save search. You'll ask for a name for your search. You give the name for your search and you can decide whether you want alert daily or weekly or monthly or you don't want alerts at all. By opting this, you can give click on save search. You can see here my saved searches. 
कि whatever searches you carry out, all the searches, if you are saving them, will be available here. Any time, at any point of time, you can come and run this once again to get new updates. If you don't want, delete it. Fine. So these are the few things you can do with uh, uh, journals. So I told you how to log in to a particular journal publisher, how to select a journal, how to go inside a journal article, and what are the things you can do as a endlist authorized user. Fine. I think it's great. The second example I tell you. The same way, how to search for a book in a vendor website. I told you there are 12 publishers. They give access to more than 31 lakhs of ebooks in Enlist. As a user, as an authorized user, how can I enter to a particular publisher and search for a book and download? That's what you're going to see next. Okay. Once again, go to home page. In the home page, second row, there's something called e resources. Click on e resources. And uh, these are the ebooks publishers. For example, I am interested in statistical calculations. So I want to get a book on SPSS, for example. Okay. And I want uh, Sage books. I want a Sage books. So click on this one, knowledge.sagebub.com and you land here. So this is a homepage of uh, Sage publishers where you can access around a thousand ebooks. Okay. So what I do, I just give uh, SPSS in the search box. I click on this uh, uh, magnifying glass to get the results. I could see there are some 388 results are there. So I don't want all the 388 results. So I want to refine my search. I want to filter my search so that I will get exactly what I need. To get the filters, come to the right side. You have content type, work and section, subject, publication date. You can make use of all the four filters. Content type, whether you want the entire book or you want the chapters, you want the dictionaries, you want the debates, you want the handbooks, what do you want? What content you want on SPSS? You can refine your search. Then whether you want the entire book or you want the chapters. So I want to get only those materials where the entire book is available. You can search for that. Then subjects. Whether you want the SPSS applied to business management or psychology or criminology or education. In which subject perspectives you want SPSS? Fine. And publication date. So I want only those books which are published between 2010 and 20. So all these four filters can be used to refine your search. For example, I searched for the full book. I want books. I want full books. I want uh, the SPS books related to education. So I got only seven books. Only seven books are there. Okay. For example, I clicked one particular book. This is a book I want to download. Research methods for graduate business and social science students. This is a screen. Left side, you can see the bibliographical information about the book, the author, publication year, DOI, chapters, front matter, back matter, subject index, all those things. The right side, you can see four buttons and related titles. Okay, fine. If you see related titles, what uh, they do is that, see, once you search for a particular book, Sage publishers, they try to find out what are all the related titles. What are all the related books we have in Sage? Please have a look at this related items also. So you can see here, yeah, something like uh, doing internet research, Sage Encyclopedia of Social Science Research, Sage Handbook of Applied Social Research, Understand the Research Process. So these are all related to the book what you are going to download. Fine. So they give you even this kind of service. And if you come to the left side, you can see all the chapters and all the units. For example, I clicked one particular chapter I want to download. I want to download chapter four. Okay, I just clicked on chapter four. This particular thing has come here. If you just click on download PDF, okay, uh, you can see you can, either you can read the entire chapter online itself without downloading, or if you click on download, then the entire chapter will be downloaded. You can uh, download it to your system and you can read later also, no problem. And on this page, it tells you what are the subheadings available in this particular page in the fourth chapter. Even that you can see. Click on show page number, you can see the page numbers and find in this book. You can search for specific keywords in this fourth chapter. Okay, you can search within chapter four. For example, I just click the data analysis. It shows you where the words uh, data analysis appears in this particular fourth chapter. Fine. And if you come to the right side, there is a navigation button. You click this, you'll go to chapter three, chapter two, chapter one. You can click this button to move on to chapter five, chapter six. So these are the navigation buttons. And these four buttons are you know, very useful buttons. The first button helps you to cite. For example, you have 
taken some points from this particular book and used in your research or academic work you want to prepare reference you want to write a citation how to do that you click the citation they will give you the citation uh, i think uh, um, it's a kind of uh, same thing uh, navigation and um, this is a subject wise index and these are four buttons i just told you and this citation okay if you click citation they will tell you the references in four or five styles you can go into copy or you can export it then then second one is add to favorites as we did for a journal same way here also you have to log in once you log in you will be able to add this particular book as your favorite then come share button you can share information about this particular book with your friends through facebook or twitter or instagram or something like that the last one is text size you can read the content in a small size or normal size or large size so these only options are available in a particular ebook publishers website okay so so far i told you how to find out a particular uh, ebook provider how to log in how to go and search how to refine the search how to get the book how to choose the chapter how to download the book how to get the reference so we have seen these three things fine yes now what things are left over in the second one right right most item is search so instead of going through a particular journal publisher a particular ebook publisher you can simply do a search click on search okay two types of searches are available one is basic search and another is advanced search in the basic search you can search for ebooks you can search for e journals either by title or author or subject or call number or issn or isd number or keywords using all these you can search for example i type the keywords artificial intelligence and i click the uh, title in the sense i want to retrieve all the records which have artificial intelligence in its title okay i click search button you can get the results how many are there we have around 1071 e resources in english packages on artificial intelligence fine is the right side ebooks how many ebooks how many conference proceedings how many thesis such kind of things are there you can filter okay if you are only ebooks click this only ebooks will be displayed then comes language see i want only english materials or i want a french material you can restrict your search by language or you can restrict that i want only those materials on artificial intelligence which are published between 1990 and 2000 you can restrict so once you do all these restrictions for example for example even you can restrict by providers for example these uh, uh, materials on artificial intelligence is being provided by all these fellows whether you want the content of springer ebooks or you want the content from ebury or you want the content of hdo wilson so you decide so these are all the filters available on the right side it's very simple you come to search button you give the keyword you land here lot of results are there if you want to refine and filter your result come to right side many filters are there use the filters and get exactly what you need fine for example i just click the ebooks only all the 1070 ebooks will be displayed i just click thesis all the three thesis will be displayed i just click journal only one journal will be that is click okay fine this way you can uh, uh, restrict your research uh, search your results for example if you select one particular item you click the item the entire item will appear along with all the particulars then you can click download they will ask you to give the username and password if you are not done previously then if it is for a particular uh, company even they may ask you another authorization they will ask you to accept their condition you say yes i accept then they will take you to the place where you can download that particular uh, book if it is a book or a journal or whatever it may be just click on download book the entire book will be downloaded fine otherwise also when all the 1071 results are displayed for example here i selected thesis so three thesis are displayed if i give a click on click to view if i click if i give a click on click to view they will ask you to enter your username and password once you do that you will be able to access the material so these are the basic search fine then what about the advanced search you can see the words advanced search appear to the right of the word search click on advanced search here you can have multiple queries see for example how you can frame is that i want books on artificial intelligence which appear in title whose author is ramasamy subject is computer science publisher is springer and year is 2010 
so you can have multiple filters to search for a particular query okay for example here three uh, you can search for three items okay you can search for only those materials which contain which fulfill these three conditions if you want to one more just click on add search field you can see now four are there okay this kind of uh, uh, increasing the number of search fields also can be done in advanced search then comes add search group only one group is there if you click add search group then what happens is that you will get a screen where you get two groups so this way also you can uh, combine two groups you can search then comes when you are framing when you are framing your advanced search you can decide whether you want the results of only this particular company whether you want the results of only this particular language or you want only books or journal or map or musical score so here itself we can give all the filters and then search see in the basic search you give the keyword go and get the results then you apply the filters and you refine your search here even before going to search at the time of conducting the search itself you give all the restrictions and then search fine then comes uh, you can decide whether you want uh, only those books with illustrations only books without illustration whether you want the books published between 2010 and 20 see all these options can be made use of by the students faculty members while you are trying to search for materials in enlist e resource package fine and apart from that if you just come down in the advanced search uh, screen You'll get few more items, very interesting ones: search history, browser catalog, and export channels. Advanced search, I told you how to conduct. Okay, let us go to search history. So if you click on search history, whatever searches you have conducted so far in any list, all the searches will be displayed. Okay, when and how I conducted, on which date I conducted, what is the results? So these searches can be saved. Okay, this can be done. And secondly, very important thing is browser catalog. See, when you go to library. Nowadays, all the libraries are having a catalog, maybe either a physical catalog or online catalog. So you go to catalog, you can type a particular keyword, particular author, particular title, particular publisher. You can go on the browse. You can go on the search whether a particular item is available or not in the library. In the same way, even Enlist provides you an online catalog. So it's an online catalog. You can go on to browse the entire uh, 6,000 plus journals and 31 lakhs ebooks which are available in Enlist can be browsed using this catalog. Okay. And what are the fields uh, through which you can search? You can search for call numbers, you can search for authors, topic, nature, region, and era. Okay, let us see one by one. I just click call number. Call number in the sense they grouped all these resources, 6,000 plus journals and 31 lakhs ebooks, into many categories. Starting with A, general works, B, world history, E, United States history. So they have subdivided all the, con all the resources into few categories. Fine. So, for example, I just click on uh, many, many subjects are there. I click on so Hutch social science. Around 40,000 items are there. Uh, social science has got a lot of subdivisions. You click on sociology. How many are there? Around 2,489 records are there. Click on sociology. All those uh, 2,489 results will be displayed. Here also you can conduct all the uh, filtering options to refine your search. Fine. And you can search by author. You can go and search by author also. Authors can be searched alphabetically or by call number, by topic, by nature, by region, by era. For example, I try for authors belonging to a particular region. For example, when I click region, all the regions are displayed. United States, 22,000 plus authors are there. Europe, 3,000 authors are there. For example, I want to get Indian authors. Just come down, you can see India, I have got uh, 1,121 authors. Of which, I want to get only the Satterjee's books. Click on search or something like that. You can see only two items. Yeah, this is how you can uh, you can refine and restrict your uh, research results. Okay. Then third one topic. You are browsing by topic. Topic is browsed by era. In the sense, first whether you want uh, e resources which are originated from 20th century, 19th century, 21st century. I click 19th century. Then all the topics come in history. How many things are related to 19th century? English literature. How many related to 19th century? Uh, American literature, how many are related to 19th century? For example, you just click something, maybe like uh, 19th century history. So all those literature will display. So this way you can browse, go and browse. Okay. And here you can search by nature of books. That means whether you want the books, electronic books, whether you want the case studies, or you want the sources, you want the statistics, you want the personal narratives. 
these are the different nature of the varieties of books but i want the varieties to be displayed region wise so that means i want the books published from united states but i want only statistics okay not any other form of books you can see here the results i want the books from united states statistics around 125 books are there this way you can go on the browse then comes region you can search by region okay all the regions are there in every region what are the subjects for example i want the history books from united states i want books on or e resources on social conditions from germany i want uh, e resources on social aspects from canada so this way by region wise you can select okay then comes era you can search by era also so i want the history books in 20th century i want the politics books politics e resources from 16th century this way by era by period also you can uh, browse fine so these are the books history books from 21st century around the 815 e resources are there fine is it fine and these are the various ways by which you can go on to browse the entire catalog of n list e resources fine the last one is uh, export channels in the which is available in the advanced uh, search option screen these are the channels which are already available so they created some channels like history christian criticism maybe uh, ebook maybe uh, some of the lot of uh, channels each channel consists of a set of books in the same way you can go and create your own channel for example click on add more channels like this okay a list appears for example i want to create a channel of resources for computers i click on computers all the books related to computers will appear you can click one by one you can see the record if it is okay you can add that particular resource into this particular channel or if you want to find out in how many channels the same kind of books are available you can check that also explore related channels okay if you have come to computers channel you click a particular e resource this particular box appears click on explore related channels what are the other channels where similar kind of books are available listed you can see if you want to see the record click on view record you can come and see the entire record about the particular e resource fine even you can see the similar items also apart from the title what you get you will get the similar items also fine then comes in the search box advanced search page they provide you some hints how to conduct advanced search and how to make use of various search operators they give you small hints also click on help with the advanced search they tell you what are the search fields how can you try what are the search groups how can you create search groups with examples they give you and then advanced search operators maybe boolean operators and or not or proximity operators wild card searchers how to make use of all these searching operators even that is possible see they give an example suppose you want to find out a document or documents which have both the words called economics and keynes but these two words should be only 10 10 words apart they should be minimum of 10 words gap between economics and keynes proximity search how to conduct so all these examples are available you can come and learn how to conduct advanced searches in enlist fine and uh, see when you are doing your search if you come to left side this enlist uh, uh, icon will be available if you click that you will get this screen where browse by language browse by format is available there they provide you list of all the languages for example i click the hindi i click hindi you can see here around 81 hindi books are there e books are available you can come and browse all the books So if you want to search for books language wise please come to any uh, screen option click on enlist choose a language okay and so only when you search for something you will get a this option for logging in fine and this logging in just click on login you can give username and password you can uh, enter no problem okay and uh, even language is permitted so if you want the interface of enlist to be in some other language maybe in english maybe in hindi maybe in marathi for example i want the entire interface in hindi you select hindi you can see okay uh, unnadi or coach so okay, let's see things are available in hindi interface even that is permitted fine now apart from these uh, home page searches the home page in the middle of the home page also one search box is available even instead of uh, searching this particular search button you can make use of the center panel search box also for example i typed covid 19 i got uh, around 2003 uh, e resources 
make use of all the filters and get the required information. Okay. So dear friends, either you log in as a member. So when you're going to enlist itself, you log in and then you go and search for all the information download. Otherwise, without even entering as a member, you just like that, uh, go to enlist, go on the browse here and there. When you want to download something, they will ask you to give your username and password. That time you can give your username and password. Both the ways are permitted, absolutely no problem. Fine. So, so far we discussed about, uh, about how, what kind of members are there, how to search for a particular college, how to register ourselves in the sense of college, what are the e-resources, we checked how to search for a particular uh, journal, journal article, how to search for a particular uh, book vendor and how to download the books. And we discuss about uh, the college admin page, license UJ, usage, frequently asked questions and downloads. So we, this is a practical aspects of uh, the menu items available in Enlist. You can even go and uh, explore further. Fine. Fine. So I just went to Enlist. I searched for something. I got some materials. I started using them. But after using what is to be done. Okay. See, it's very, very important. When you are taking the content of others, it is very, very important that you properly acknowledge, you properly thank, because it is not your content. You have taken the content from others. So you should thank them. How to thank them? There are two ways of thanking. One is by preparing in text citations and by preparing list of references. Okay. How to prepare this in text citation on the list of reference using any of the standard manuals. There are many standard manuals starting from APA, American Psychological Association, Chicago style, MLA style, Vancouver style, Nyanja style, IEEE style. We have more than 9,500 styles. Up. Okay, in any one of the styles, you can go and prepare in-text citations and list of references. What is the difference between these two? In-text citation is available in the parenthetical citation or textual citations. They are given in the body of text. List of references is given at the end of the research paper where you get all the particulars about the references. For example, so maybe in the introduction part and the review part, you write something and you have taken this particular quotation from a particular author. So in the introduction part itself, you tell the name of the author and the year of publication. This is known as in-text citation or parenthetical citation. Fine. At the end of your research paper, you have to give complete particulars about all the references used. You have taken something from any list, no? All the references are to be given completely here. Name of the author, year of publication, title, journal, volume number, issue number, page number. So all these complete particulars are to be listed in the list of references. Okay. So dear friends, first of all, we should know the importance of endless resources. We should log in ourselves. We should go and explore the resources. We have to make use of all the resources. After making use of these resources, you should acknowledge the use of those resources. If you feel they are very good, you have to share with your friends. And that is how you can promote the use of yen list in academic community. Okay. So dear friends, kindly make use of this particular e-resource package, which is really a very good boom for the academic community. So thank you. Thank you so much for your patient listening. Thank you so much.